Hey, I accidentally painted like half of this birdhouse in slow motion. So I'm gonna fix it. Um, I do like the color. It is a little bit too bright in my opinion. So I'm gonna mix the white and the blue and get a little bit of a lighter color for it. Um, I've some really cute ideas for it. Uh, so paint with me. I am gonna use these outdoor craft smart paints from Michaels. This is also from Michaels and I think they're very cute. I love painting birdhouses because I love birds. I think that, you know, they would really appreciate a cute little home to sit in. Okay, awesome. We're somewhere between toothpaste and sea foam. I like that color a lot better. So, um, I guess I'll just like update you guys on my life. It's not really like there's a ton of people watching, but, um, I quit my job via email last week, um, with like absolutely no notice. So that was kind of silly. Um, I was working at a kayak shop uh, up here in the area that I live in. And this is not the first kayak shop that I worked at, but it is not fun. Uh, the one up here was not as fun as Kayak Connection down in Monterey, where I used to work. Um, and yeah, I just figured I didn't want to spend my summer doing something that um, I really don't want to be doing. And it's also like, it's a little bit more than that, you know, um, but yeah, what it really came down to was I wasn't happy and I'm not going to do something that makes me unhappy. That's just the kind of person I am. Um, thankfully I have a support system that allows that. Uh, but I also have another job. I have two, I have two jobs as of right now. Or, I guess I'm down to one job, but I'm also a substitute teacher, and so, um, you know, I'm doing that, and then this summer, I'm just gonna um, work with horses, um, so that's fine. I actually got a job offer, and that was what really made me consider, um, you know, quitting in the first place, and then I'm like, like the hours are better, it pays the same which you know is minimum wage but i have friends at the barn and um like human friends and also there's horses there so i think i'm just gonna be a lot happier and i've worked there before this is gonna be my third summer returning there um i worked there while i was in college and uh I worked there last year before I moved to Alaska and I'm pretty stoked because there's baby horses um, around there and the hours are really good and it's actually like I've done it before and so I know that it's something that I like doing you know so I'm pretty stoked on that um, I'm just gonna start in June I kind of want to put like on this side and this side um like some seashells and sea stars and like seahorses and um just like make it look very cute and then I also had another idea I kind of want to make this part down here look like sand and have like little bird footprints leading into it um I think that would look very cute 
and very beachy. Okay, I, um, I just want to talk about this for a second. Um, one of the reasons that I really like, like, painting birdhouses and why I wanted to take a video of myself painting, um, this little birdhouse is actually, um, because of one of my really good friends, um, my friend Judah invited me over to come sit with her and paint and, like, she was in a couple of my classes in college, and so one day I just went over to her, her apartment, and we sat and we watched um, Mariah Elizabeth paint, uh, and I really like her like style and her style of videos and just like all that stuff. So Judah introduced me to her, and then um, we just sat and we painted, and our professor like looked at us and she or. Because we were both, you know, in the Zoom classroom. Um, and she was like, wait, are you two together right now? And we were like, yeah. And uh, we held up, like, we were painting Jingle Blocks at the time. That was what was really fun. Um, we held up, like, our Jingle Blocks. And we were like, we've been painting. And, you know, just, like, crafting this whole time. Um, I just hit a blister. Uh but yeah, it was just like, she was like, oh my gosh, that's so fun. And we were like, yeah, we're having a really good time. Um, so thanks, Judah. So I've started painting the like floor, like what's going to be the ground. Um, and then I'm trying to decide that with these two little signs what they should say. I'm low-key thinking about like writing something on the life ring, but I'm not sure. So like right now I kind of want to put like beach and then like a little arrow um and then have this one say something like no lifeguard on duty um but I think it would be cute if like the surf shack had like a little name um and I was thinking about like writing like the nest or like welcome to the nest on it so I'm still deciding I'm also trying to decide if I should make the little stripes on the life ring um red I was originally thinking red but I have pink that I'm going to use for the surfboards and for some of like the little details so I might make it pink too but I don't know I might try the pink and then just paint over it with red if I just don't really like it so we shall see so there we go I think I'm going to paint, well, I don't really think I'm going to paint the room. Oh shit, I'm going to do this from that, okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like this color for the roof.
trying to decide if I want to do that or not. I don't think I do. Yeah, I think I might actually just want to keep that white. So I'll just paint over it. It'll be fine. So I went through and I repainted just like some of the deck and some of the railing. I also repainted the yellow like a lighter color. The roof, I should say, a lighter color yellow. I'm going to paint this chair and about this pink color for it. So I just tried to do pink for the um, life ring and it turned out really bad. Not like you can see it anyways. Um, um, I just tried to do pink for the life ring and it turned out really bad. So I'm going to go back over it with white and then um, try to use some of this um, cadmium red. So kind of like an orangey red because I think that would look good with it. Um, so let's just see how this works out. The pink is still not done drying. The pink is still not dry. So you can still kind of see it underneath, but I think the chair looks very cute. It looks very Barbie. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for. A little Barbie themed birdhouse. I think that would be very cute. So you can still kind of see it underneath, but um, it's fine. It's whatever. Um, now you can see like the color yellow that like the roof is and I think that's really cute and um, I think I'm gonna make one of the surfboards like I'm gonna give it like a pink stripe down the middle and then try to do some like flowers on it like very um, like the Hawaiian print that's like coming back in very like 2005 Roxy. Um, kind of like my prime for reference in 2005 I was six so absolutely my prime and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with the third one I'm gonna just leave it I should make it look like um I'm forgetting his name but the penguin from surfs up I should try to put his surfboard in here Love that movie. So I'm just taking a little bit of the cadmium red. I didn't clean off my brush because why would I ever do that? Um, oh, this looks way better. Way, way better. Look at that. Insane how much better that looks. I am going to try to make these even. We'll see how that goes. I feel like I want to do more than four. I feel like four is like what fits on here. I think that looks really cute. Um, but yeah, here we are with that. And I also kind of want to start doing like my little mural on the back and on the side. Um, I'm probably going to sketch it out first and then I'll show that. And then um, 
for like reference, I've been using these, I only have four colors of these um, outdoor acrylic paint. So I have that one, I have this tan one, I have pink, and I have blue. Um, so for like the yellow and the red, I'm just using like regular acrylic paint. Um, so hopefully that doesn't chip or anything, but I think I'm just gonna go like right on here with Sharpie. And then on the back, like where I do like the little C critters, like outline them in Sharpie so they kind of stick out a little bit more. But yeah, I'll come back when I have that stuff kind of done. Okay, so I have little footprints going in. And then that's it. All done.